The Johto region started to get creative with Pokémon fashion, to the detriment of polite society. Gold looks normal, right? Just some tree trunk legs, 11 years old and he's already squatting Rhyhorns. Not like I do after eating too many Rage candy bars, hey -oh. But then, uh, we look closer, and his hoodie has what appear to be buckles on the pocket. That's a new concept to me. As are the shoes, which he brazenly stole from a Mega Man boss. Have you ever seen shoes that button up with side flaps? How heavy duty must one's lifestyle be to require side flaps? Those buckles were an early design to explain how the dorks in the show could keep Pokeballs on their belts before magnets were invented, but are these sewn into the garment by the manufacturer, or are we trusting children to glue these on themselves with some industrial adhesive? If you look at the cuffs, you'll also see... Uh, straps for the Poke gear? This hoodie was specifically designed to have a watch attached to the outside of the sleeve, rather than, you know, a normal person's normal wrist. Has Ken Sugimori designed an entire line of wacky outerwear for Pokemon trainers? And don't think the Heart Gold redesign made any more sense. What are these pants, Ethan, and what are they trying to accomplish today? They're like joggers, but shorts, but long, and also before joggers were trying to be a thing? Which, by the way, they still should not be. You are not a Victorian temptress. Put that ankle away. Uh, you're walking across the country without socks? You are actually going to die and it's your fault. His cuffs are rolled up, implying that his jacket is too big, but from his waist we see it's actually too small. What's going on here, America? I assume he's American, because I am. Oh, his pokey gear is preventing his wrist from moving out, like a helicopter parent. And what in tarnation is this bag? Did a backpack in a messenger bag make traumatic, regrettable love? I have never seen a bag like this, and I hope I never will. This is already triggering my fight-or-flight response. Now to really blow your mind? See this white thing? It's not the trim of his jacket. And it's not his t-shirt. He has two collars here, which means this white thing is another shirt. Some wide polo which he's flattened. What does this add to Ethan's ensemble? What did he do to earn this sneaky little slice of mystery? Ugh. Chris, my girl, mwah, you're perfect. Except, Ken Sugimori drew this, and you're 11. Don't draw this! Lyra looks like she was dressed by a Sunday school teacher on a Saturday night. Really have to wonder what's going on between the stockings and the booty overalls. I'm not sure who the target demo is here. This says, I want to have fun tonight, and that means we're playing apples to apples. I have never seen a boob window this, uh, specific? I'm not sure what would be, like, all the way down there. This is to say nothing of her blimp of a chef's hat, and the mountain of untold secrets it guards within. All we know is that when Leaf's time-traveling clogs were banished from our dimension, they ended up in Lyra's. Lastly, I want to give a shout-out to whatever the hell these little puffy friends are. I just think they're neat. You'd be forgiven for thinking at a glance that silver looks normal. However, this is a pullover hoodie for the bottom half, and the top half becomes a collared zip-up jacket. AI-generated imagery was not invented in 2022. It was invented in 1998 by Ken Sugimori. Ugh, and these are those detachable pant legs you had as a kid, which would murder your knees if you got down on the ground. This fashion is okay because Silver is probably like 13. You know, in that anime way that this character is 26, and this one is technically a thousand years old, officer, so it's totally legal. His redesign gives him a mullet. Claire the Dragon Master has some curious spandex going on. This looks like the base layer to something which was already going to be weird enough before she forgot to finish getting dressed. Peep those surgical gloves as you brace yourself for their 2009 reboot! Sweet Arceus! So, those bracelets have become, I'm gonna say, ESP amplifiers because that's what Heart Gold did with Sabrina. Claire has another pair on her knees, which is where psychic powers typically manifest. They really cap off the, uh, rubber stiletto boots. Oh, and what do you know, the blue spandex is no longer a base layer. She has more black spandex, although the way it goes up here implies that it would be connected to the choker, which would make this impossible to put on unless these are two separate pieces designed to be connected under this, um, orb? Who manufactured this? And how big is the Pokemon world's market for visually impaired dragon-loving women to justify the manufacturing costs? Ugh, join us next time when Gen 3 fashion makes this look downright civil.